appropriately enough, an airplane hangar was where former Cal quarterback Joe Ayub threw a paper airplane 226 feet 10 inches, just over three quarters of a football field. But to throw something that far, that light, about 15 hundredths of an ounce, that's more than 100 times lighter than a football, arm strength is not the only requirement. Equally important is precision. With his arm catapulting forward at an angular velocity of roughly 2,700 degrees per second, a speed on par with Major League Baseball pitchers, Ayub maintains a nearly vertical forearm angle and releases the plane as close as possible to the apex of his throwing motion. The plane launches at an estimated four degree angle, wings nearly horizontal as it begins its rapid ascent. It begins to climb instantly due to the plane's sophisticated aerodynamics designed by the craft's creator, John Collins. Shaped with just eight simple but crucially precise folds, the plane's weight distribution and wing design maximize both lift and glide. Collins's design requires dihedral angles, the angle at which the wings extend from the fuselage of 165 degrees at the nose and tail, 10 degrees greater than at the middle of the wings. The air moves slower below the wing than above it, and the resulting pressure differential generates lift, enough to keep the plane airborne for nearly nine seconds and apparently crush the previous world record by nearly 20 feet. And according to rules set by Guinness World Records, a piece of tape no more than 25 by 30 millimeters, like this, can be used in the creation of a record-setting plane. And for the new world record, the designer stabilized various strategic locations in the plane by cutting this tiny piece of tape into 14 different pieces. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.